everyone good evening so in the last session we were talking about uh, virtual network gateway and we completed side to side connection right we are left with the point to side connection so during that time we were talking different scenarios so if this is our environment and uh, this is our vnet and here we created a virtual network gateway for this specific vnet so what are the traffic want to go outside and access the external <coughs> data center like we have on premises data center and machines over here if you want to connect we created one kind of a virtual router which is called a remote access server so to access applications from machines from azure environment or maybe from our on premises environment to this azure environment to establish communication we should we should have a side to side connection so for that side to side connection we created one ras server here and uh, also we created one vng from the azure side and we established communication between these two so we don't have any on premises data center that's why we created aws environment here so in this aws environment we created one machine and from here to here we tested and from azure also we tested to communicate so both ways mainly with the help of private ip so these are all are like internally only they can communicate and whatever the vms are here they can also internally they can communicate but with the help of private ip only we should able to communicate from here to here that is possible with this virtual network gateway side to side connection and uh, we have one, one more option called uh, point to site like how we work from home and we connect to our office environment with the help of connecting to the vpn same way we can use this point to site connection so the same vng we can use for the point to site already we discussed about this point to site also only thing was like uh, while doing the practical we got some error so we couldn't able to achieve in the previous session day before yesterday so now from local so if i want to connect to the azure environment like to my data center cloud data center then how we can achieve that we'll practice today okay <clears throat> so the same virtual network gateway just now i created because uh, this is uh, now it is not uh, free anymore so i converted it as a pay as you go model so that's why whenever we required that time only we need to create the resources so i created vng simple and here we can see point to site configuration <coughs> previously we used this connection service for site to site so this time point to site we need to create so click on configure now here address pool so this address pool to provide the ip address so whenever we connect to the vpn so vpn will provide some ip address to your machines from for our laptop for example if you are connecting to our office vpn so it is going to provide some ip to your laptop so what is the range of ip address you want to assign that you can define it here so i am going to provide 172.36.0.0 slash 24 so this is the ip range i am providing this is also class b private ip range always remember this is class b private ip range you can use 192 series also why i am not using 10 series because only we might have some 10 series so it should not conflict that's why i'm using so easily we can identify and as of now if i go and check in the cmd ip config so you can see only my wi-fi connection wireless lan adapter apart from that you don't see any other ips has been assigned if you see from here nothing so when i connect to the vpn it should provide one ip address so that's the reason we are giving some pool of ips so that it will assign ip to the users who were connected and this is different protocols so azure this is internet key exchange version 2 so this is we are going to use and authentication type as i mentioned azure certificate we are going to use azure active directory we don't have as of now so we can go with the azure certificate but uh, to use this azure certificate we need to buy ssl certificate instead of that we can use that uh, self-signed uh, 
certificate also so but it is not recommended for the real time production environments but for lab purpose we can use that self signed certificate right in the previous uh, session i already shown you how to create that in azure itself uh, providing you azure uh, self signed certificate certificate vng this is the one so this is for root certificate to execute this command you need to use powershell and uh, same way client certificate is also required this is to create the client certificate so once this is created like you can see in the mmc management console here you can able to see that file add remove snap in here you can able to see that already we completed this process and uh, once those certificates are created we already discussed like how to uh, export it so once it is exported then you can use those certificates over here so here you need to upload the root certificate and you can save client certificate with you and whoever want to connect you can provide that client certificate to them so they can able to connect to it okay so now uh, i am going to have a so this is the certificates i already created like exported also completed so we can just go with the edit option and copy this certificate content and uh, paste it and provide name root uh, this is the one so give some name and save it so once this is saved you can download this vpn client this option will get enabled then only we can able to download but always remember let's say once save completed and i download this vpn client i am using it later on if i do some changes to this configuration and again if i do save then you should not use the existing client software again you need to download the new one because this whatever we are downloading it is going to have the configuration information whatever you are doing here so what are the changes you do these changes will not apply to the existing software which you already downloaded so whenever you do any changes to this configuration and you click on save once it is completed again then you need to have this new vpn client installed otherwise it will not work so uh, before that i'll go to the network sharing network and internet sharing and here you can see vpn so this is a previous one which is already available and uh, i am going to remove this because we are going to get the new one remove it so in under this vpn section we are going to see here that icon whatever the virtual network gateway we created we can see out see it here so once this is done we can able to do that So it is a public IP series 170 dot yeah correct I missed it sorry 170 dot 16 right I missed it 170 dot 16 is a private IP range I will do again save option thanks for the correction once it is done then again I need to click on save okay it's saved but uh, 170.16.0.0/24 but let's try what it will do i don't know whether it will assign the ip address or not because once we download then only again it will come uh, like the save option here if you see i clicked on download vpn client then only it is allowing me to do some changes and uh, click on save. 
or else it is not allowing so i'm downloading it now we'll try give a try whether it will give an ip address or give any conflict we'll see so i'm saving it here extract this is a directory and this is a folder we need to execute this is a script set up amd64 run anyway yes yes so once it is done i was last time i was expecting like one pop-up kind of thing so but directly it will go and uh, create this vpn uh, over here if you see again vpn see this again it is available now so just click on it it will show connect remove advanced options i'll try to connect now because already with me i have client certificate is loaded so i don't need to have any other client certificates i'll just click on connect and here also we need to click on connect continue yes successfully got connected okay if you see here connected so now if you see here ip config now it assigned one ip it did not create any problem i think 172.16 dot till some range it is private ip range 16 to which number i forgot but somehow we did not throw any IP concrete message. 1.36.0.2 it is assigned because 0.1 is for gateway and 0.2 it is assigned IP address. So now we can connect it to the VPN. But how to confirm that I can able to access the Azure environment? So now what I am going to do, I am going to, uh, okay, 31. Okay. So, I am going to create a virtual machine now. So now let's create a virtual machine. Create virtual machine. And now resource group. I am using VNGRG and virtual machine uh, Windows uh, test. And uh, here I am selecting Windows 2016 image. And one CPU 3.5 GB is enough. Username Cloud Freak. This is a one password. Okay. Okay. Password has been provided, and uh, now next disks uh, ignore it. Networking. So here. This VNet, whatever I created, in this VNet, we are using this VNG. This VNG is dedicated for this VNet. One VNet can have one VNG. If you have another VNet and you are creating VM, and if you are trying to access this way, it is not possible because this VNG is for this VNet only. So now I'm creating a VM in this VNet only. And this is having series what? 10.0.0.16. This is a range of this VNet. So now we can connect to this VM, whatever I'm creating. So always remember if you have another VNet and you are creating VMs over here and there is no peering between this one, then you cannot able to reach this machine from here. Only machines which are created under this VNet. So backend. So as of now, I have only one VNet. If you see, uh, this is the one VNG network. Only one VNet is there, which is used for the in the same VNet, we created VNG also. So now public IP not required because I want to connect uh, with the private IP only. And uh, remaining review. Create. So once this machine is created with the help of private IP range, we need to connect to it. 
so after this uh, i'll just uh, talk about uh, this express route because we cannot create express route just uh, we'll have a brief uh, discussion about express, express route and then we'll discuss about uh, application services app services means azure app services so mission is created then uh, we'll go to this vm so with the private ip only within the same network only we can able to connect so now from external we need to connect to this machine so 10.3.0.6 is the private ip of this machine so now from my laptop i want to do this remote desktop connection and i am going to 10.3.0.6 connect and it is asking credentials credentials it is asking means it's connected authentication is completed now it is expecting authorization so providing the credentials so now we are connected to this machine so this is how you can able to reach this machines understood so this is how we can able to connect to this environment so this is about the point to site in the VNG.